Hey everyone, so we're continuing off from where we last left off for our Maya concept, and here's part 3. So, as you can see, after our deliberation of last week's video, we figured out where we want to have that back hand on, uh, which, looking at it, will be the left side. So, our left hand, we figure out that's what we're going to do. I'm still not a completely satisfied with how the daggers look, but while we're working on the armor, we'll be able to figure out exactly how the daggers would look in her hands. Right now, as you can see, I haven't done anything else with it. We're going to try and leave it exactly as is. And I'm going to show you the references that I'm kind of pulling different ideas from for her armor. And as you guys can remember from part one, Maya is skinny, and mo her top is where it's actually going to be more, a little bit tight fitting, more so than her pants. So like her waist down is going to be a little more baggy compared to the waist up. So like one of them, I decided I might actually might go with down here. There's like little bracers around at the ankles, so it's like shin guards. So I'm gonna take that kind of concept, which technically these are shoes, but I will take the concept with the um, actual kind of using shin guards on for her. So that'll be for the feet near her pants and. The other thing, she will have kind of like a little frill. I'm still debating, but how our blacksmith's pants are, I might keep it as baggy, but also like even Cloud's pants kind of resemble that baggy feel to it. That it's not too tight, but not too loose either. I mean, the belt is where I'm looking for. Something thick, but not as thick as what Cloud has. So he has like the nice gloves on as well and Maya has the gloves and we have the pockets now like I said last week I am using I had an idea and I like the pockets off this one and be it Crete um, one that I have so I'm going to try and not completely replicate but use that same type of look of a pocket and it's kind of the same way the blacksmith is so that is how it's going to be for that and I'm not going to go with the little frills or anything like that, and there's no flames. But my, there will be the sheath for the daggers on the back. So kind of like how it's set like this, but instead of it one going towards right, it will be also the other one towards left, so they're accessible. So that's kind of the plan that we're going to do for Maya. So that's what we're going to work on this week, is adding the actual armor slash clothes in this aspect because it's not when you really think about it it may look like armor but it's really not armor and what i mean by that is um you have this aspect of armor has its looks of kind of baggy and there's an undershirt and you could also use it to um protects you but for Maya it's not really for protection it's more for just using and it's just to wear what she wears on a daily basis so right now what we're going I'm going to do is on this is actually make three copies of Maya so we could have like different variations of how I want to do her clothes, her armor, and also if there's anything I want to add or adjust for her like body. And then I'm gonna do one more. Let's see here. Uh, I don't want it. And when you're doing this, you don't really want them to overlap. So you want to kind of have them to fit on the actual screen. So if you end up making it too large or too small. It doesn't have too much of a problem. I don't want to scrush it too much. So, let's see, I'm going to undo that. Oh, about there. Okay. And, actually, that's a little too close. I'm going to 
deselect here. Uh, actually, have it on separate layers. I'm going to move this over a little bit. And we're going to control V one more time. There we go. Uh, this one will close nine. So. Okay. And the reason why I'm turning off and on the layers is so I can actually see if I need to alter the distance between them a little bit so they're not overlapping. So as you can see, it, they actually fit. So what we're going to do is we're gonna merge together, merge layers. So now it's just one layer, one big layer, and I can move them. So, and we're actually going to, I'm not going to change. There's one thing I've noticed that a lot of people when they do their artwork, they have, uh, they change the layer names. Now. If you want to, you can change the layers to name like all three, um, or if it's just the head, or like this one that we did originally was the background. So, so it's like the sketch of outline, and then you have the next outline, it's more defined outline. So you can do it like that if you so choose, but not everyone does, and you don't have to do it. Oh, so from here. We're going to actually, on a new layer, I think that's what I'm going to do, um, is on a new layer, this is where we'll kind of work on the actual um, armor. So we're going to go under a brush. I'm actually going to make this a lot bigger. Um, like I said, so I'm going to do... Let's see. I'm gonna do it right here. Kind of has that fade, and I don't really like that. So, I'm trying to find the better brush that kind of doesn't have that. So, so I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. But I think for now we'll just stick with this. So what we're gonna do, as like I said, it's we'll start. For me, I like to start from the waist down, because that way I could know how thick, in my percent, how I consider it as how thick the upper torso clothes would be. So if your baggy pants is like super baggy, and what I mean is like, if I make the pants and they end up coming out like this and the baggies this is basically the outline of the bags of the pants it's gonna um, look odd to make the actual top frame the actual body so it, it has to make sense so that's kind of why I do like to do my actual sketch of the bottoms first so I could edit the upper body a little bit better so we'll erase this here. You know what I can do is just delete layer and create a new one. A lot easier, and it's also kind of faster. You can do if you instead of wanting to erase, because sometimes when you erase, it doesn't always uh, collect it, get every all the dots. But when normally when you're working on the sketch, it's not going to really matter too much. So we're gonna come about here and like I said she has like her belt but I don't want to have it too far out that it looks funny so I guess this would be her belt maybe more like a tie and then kind of have it come out like so and then her pants comes more about here. So it's not too baggy. As you can see, there's room, but not too much. And this is where the 
other part comes. Kind of like the blacksmith, it gets tied right about here. So we're gonna have it come out about here for the pants. I'm gonna do this. So this is the actual right here will be the shin type guard like that I was telling you guys about that I want to do for that. So we're gonna come about here. This is the shins and then come about like this for the pants. So that would be our pants. And what you can do too is like lower the opacity of the other one so you can kind of see where the pant, like how far the pants goes. And if you're missing anything for like the shin guards, as you can see, I'm fixing that. So it kind of fits better. So that would be our pants. I'm not sure if I like that, if I really want to keep it, but, like I said, oops. So, so we're going to keep going on this here. And, let's see. Make it more like it's overlapping. Because when you have, like, a tie, you want it to look like it's a tie. I'm not sure if I like it that way or if I want to do... Do I want to do something? Nah. I'm not sure yet. So, this is where it's good that you have three versions. So you can see what you want to... What you think is better. So, the, I think right now this is what I want to do for the pants. So, I'll come out here. Right about here, I think, we'll have that dagger slot. Maybe. Because what I'm thinking is unlike the other, um, you won't really see the other side of the dagger um, sheath. So, you're only going to see one side, or maybe, I think I'll do something like this. Do, like, the dagger, like so. And that's, like, one sheath, and here's the second sheath. You can't really see it behind her, so, I think, yeah, that's what I'll do. So, we'll come here, and do, that's arm guards on her. clothes on her sh wrists and forearms so I think about like right there That'll be our forearms so it's like bucklers and stick with like a v-neck so it's not or Maybe like something like this. It kind of goes like so. So I think so. This, like, as you you notice that like some of the shoulders is a little off. And I'm thinking the reason why I made them look so broad is because that would be like where the clothes would be. So, be like so. And kind of comes here. I'm debating do I want short sleeve? We'll stick it as a long sleeve type shirt. And then kind of comes like so. Something like that. But then it looks more guyish. For 
a female, which is what Maya is, so I don't know if I want to stick with that. And then we got our ears about here. Give or take. Possibly. So that's like one way, one idea for our Maya. And I know I kind of ran a little bit over time, not like a lot, but next week we'll try and um, figure out other two ways of what we can do for the concept and maybe refine the first idea, but that's where it comes to concept. It's always what you want. Not what you want, it's after listening to music, thinking about it, wondering, is this what I want? Is this what I like? And that's how it's going to go. So. Sorry, it was just only one character this time, but next week we'll try and knock out the other, like, more detail for our, our actual armor, and also finish the other two concepts to get it ready to make it more detailed than it is right now. So, hope you guys continue to enjoy. See you next week.